would you describe your book, Healing Cancer with Qigong, to someone who has not read any of your previous book? The book, Healing Cancer with Qigong, is about my own personal journey toward healing my cancer. It is a semi-biographical memoir of my struggle from my initial stage of discovering my cancer and then from the crossing over to complementary therapy which include chemotherapy as part of my healing strategy. So the book has many components to it and as one of my students said, it is quite ambitious in its scope. It encompasses my healing journey and also the basic principle of traditional Chinese medicine as well as that special form of Qigong that I have used and applied in healing myself which is called medical Qigong. It is a Qigong that I studied when I was an intern in China at the Guangzhou University Traditional Chinese Medicine. And in the book, I also describe some of the 200 years old cancer experiment which was conducted during the Ming Dynasty, approximately in the year of 1500s. Give us three good to know facts about you. Be creative. Tell us how you become a Qigong master. Well, I would not call myself a Qigong master. I feel I'm very much a novice. But I hope that in writing this book, I was inspired by my daughter. In my initial state of discovering the cancer, I was totally devastated. And then she called me up and said, Hey, Daddy, don't worry. I know you will be able to beat it. And then you will write a bestseller based on the experience of healing and ultimately curing the cancer. That was so powerful and empowering for me to hear. It allowed me to move beyond the very immediate threat of the cancer and also stretch beyond its cage so that I could see beyond to other wider realm of a time that I will be totally free of cancer. So this book then is really a product of this journey of my daughter's inspiration. I am sure many readers would like to know what inspires you to write the book? Have I made some mistakes? Yes. In my healing journey, I fumble and stumble toward the discovery of my cancer. With the initially, I thought it is nothing more than a tooth abscess, when in truth, it was a oral cancer, a carcinoma that come out from the lymphoma. Only after I discovered that, do I start to treating myself from a completely alternative method of healing. And that consists of Qigong, meditation, nutrition, and a change of lifestyle. But that's a problem. It did not work. And only with my pleading of my daughters, then I decided to see an oncologist an integrated oncologist. And through my love for my daughter, I decided to cross over to the other side, to the side of using complementary therapy, integrating chemotherapy with the alternative way of healing. And it was astonishing. The result, after one cycle of treatment, that is, after one session of chemotherapy, my cancer was 
completely eradicated. And now, four years later, I am completely cancer-free. And according to my oncologist, my type of cancer is curable, and I have cured it, which means that it will never relapse and it will in my lifetime, this particular cancer. So I have written this book as a way to share with others who I confront with the same serious challenge. In my initial phase, I was completely lost, and I wished for a guide to guide me, and there was no one around. So I vowed that if I ever able to heal my cancer, I will serve such guy other people to come. And as a result, this is the thing. Well, will there be also practical advice and Qigong exercise for the readers? My background is in traditional Chinese medicine. But how I come about that is quite interesting. Initially, I studied psychology at Princeton University. And that is my major. My graduation degree is in BS, Bachelor of Science. And later on, I fell in love with modern dance, so I decided to go for a graduate degree an MFA in modern dance choreography. And through the dance and movement, I was able to merge my Tai Chi and Qigong movement with the Western understanding of movement analysis. And that sparked my interest into the whole alternative healing, using movement as a possibility. I returned to China to complete an intensive residence in traditional Chinese medicine at the Guangzhou TCM University. And it's during my residence that I acquired the learning of the medical Qigong in healing cancer. And little did I know that later on, I will become my first patient in applying such practice. Do you have any last words for your reader regarding healing their sickness? Any last word for my readers? I will say one single word, empowerment. For the readers, if you can reach this empowerment that you are not a passive bystander in this fight with cancer, that you are not merely laying flat on your bed receiving the chemotherapy or radiation, but that you are the general in this fight. And that you care through actively initiate the healing process. Certainly, you can create a team that works for you. And in that empowerment, your journey will be very different. Your journey will switch from one of being a victim of something so insidious, something so frightening, to one of, in my case, an opportunity to change one's life, to heal one's life. Not only that, I start to see my cancer is only a symptom for a larger whole of my life. And ultimately, my family and the society I live in. This inclusive way of seeing 
allow me to have a great handle and a great sense of inspiration, then I become the captain of my destiny, master of my own universe. So for the readers, I want to leave you with one word, empowerment. Thank you for viewing this book interview. The book will be available at the Amazon site and it's called Healing Cancer with Qigong. One man's journey in healing through love and complementary therapy. Good luck and be well in your journey.